so first I just start off with my bare bones nails and I just take some alcohol um, and I think that's like 90% alcohol rubbing alcohol and I just use that to clean off my fingers and nails just to make sure that I'm getting rid of any dirt dust oil so then that way when I start using my nail glue to apply my nail tips that way they just stick a little better I would recommend roughing up your nails just a little bit um, just for a little bit better of a grip but um, sometimes I forget to do that but as long as I do the whole wiping my hands with alcohol my nails tend to stick and stay for pretty long but if you find that you have trouble with your nails staying on long staying on for long then you can go ahead and like rough up the surface of your nail just a little bit just to give that glue really something to stick to Once I finish applying the tips, then I start to measure them with my already done hand. I really did this mainly off camera because clipping my nails, like I like to look at my nails. I'm talking like look, look at my nails. But if I find that I'm getting like so close that I don't wanna risk like clipping them again, then I'll just take my nail file and this is a 100 grit file that I got from a cart and I just file the nail down until it gets to the exact same um, length as my other hand, just so, you know, things can stay nice and even. And once I've cut down all those nails, now I'm going to be taking my nail drill and just using that sanding bit, I am going to um, sand down the tip just to make sure that it's as flush as possible with my nail um, so that it can be ready for application. And I just do that for all of my nails. So once all that drilling is finished, I just take like a random makeup brush that I don't use anymore and I just use that to dust off um, whatever needs to be dusted off. And then I go in with a nail dehydrator and a nail primer. Those are both from McCart as well. Um, and pretty much I just apply one coat of the nail dehydrator and then two coats of the nail primer. Then once I finished with applying my two coats of primer, then I just go ahead and apply my base coat gel to all of my nails. So I apply it to the whole nail and the whole entire nail tip. And I just do that for all of my fingers and then I'm going to stick that in my lamp and cure it for about 60 seconds. Now on to the fun stuff. I'm going to be taking my McCart Poly Gel and I'm using um, the ones that come from the Love Yourself collection and I'm using the shades 943 Pig Pink and 944 Cotton Candy. And then as a sort of clear cap, I'm just, I'm just using their regular old clear. Um, and so originally this was, this whole idea was supposed to be sort of like a, a marble sort of effect on the nail, but I think the colors that I use, like this sort of pastel pink and this pastel um, purple, that they blend so well together that you really couldn't 
actually see much of the marble effect but I'll try this on other colors where you know I'll use a white and then like a bit of a darker color but pretty much all I'm doing is once I've sort of spotted it around on my nail if that makes sense like applied it in just random areas both the purple and the pink then I take the spatula end of my brush and I just swirl it around and then I flip the brush over dip my uh dip the actual brush brush part in the uh slip solution and then i start pat pat patting down to smooth it again as i said i wanted this to be more of a like marble effect but in the end it just kind of gave me this really pretty like light pastel -y, purple light light pink sort of look I'm not mad at it it's not you know the original what I wanted but I'm really not mad at it either because I just think it looks so feminine pretty and delicate the color but I will definitely be trying and attempting marble again at one point but pretty much I am just going in and patting it down. I'm not the best at patting down um, poly gel just yet. And also I try my best to not let it flood my cuticle and to really pay attention to my cuticle areas. I definitely think I did better this time than like the first time I've ever done poly gel nails. But I, um, I'm definitely going to be working on it more. And then once I get it to a good look, just to make sure that it doesn't get messed up when I do my other nails, I quickly flash cure it in that little mini LED lamp. So I'll like flash cure it for about like 30 seconds and then I move on to the other nails and I'm really doing the same processes and steps with the other nails. I'm first applying that purple in random spots, then I'm applying the pink, the super light pink in random spots then taking my spatula and swirling it around on the nail and then I will be taking the other side of my brush and start pat 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 patting that down and then once I get it to a good place where I want it to be then I will flash cure it for 30 seconds and once I'm finished with all of my nails doing that exact same step then I'll go ahead and stick it in my nail lamp for 90 seconds just so that all of my fingers get a really nice cure. Now I am taking just the clear McCart gel and I'm just squeezing a line down on my fingers and I'm just patting it into place just to clear cap my design and just to make sure that I don't mess up anything when I start to file. Um, and I'm just smoothing that out with my brush and then I'll quickly cure it in my little mini nail lamp before moving on to my other fingers. And I know this isn't like the best <laughs> way of like patting down or patting out um, your poly gel because I know mine, you know, she, I'm, I'll admit, she looking a bit rough, she looking a bit lumpy, lumpy, bumpy, but you know, I'm still learning how to master poly gel and uh, I at least know that my time to shine comes in when I start filing it, so it might look rough now, but trust me, it'll look a whole lot better later. So once all the nails have been cured for 90 seconds, then I just go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol and wipe off that tacky layer just so that my nail file doesn't get gunked up with anything. So I just take out 
take off that sticky layer. And then I first go in with the hand file just to perfect the shape. And the shape that I go for is like that ballerina coffin shape. So I take my hand file and start going in just to perfect the sides of the nail first because that gives me a better look at what else like I need to do on the top of the nail when the sides of it are filed. Um, and I did the majority of this off camera too just because I tend to like to lay my hands down or keep them really close to my face and if I lay my hands down on the table and file the camera shakes but then if I bring them close to my face you can't see but I at least tried to get as much of me filing these nails at least using my hand file as possible but I first start off with my hand file clearly as you see here and then I move on to my nail drill and I'm just using the regular old sanding bit for that and I just smooth off the top and the surface the surface <laughs> and I just smooth out the top of the nails just to make sure that they're a lot smoother so I first go in with that sanding bit just to again smooth out the top of of my nails don't know how many times I'm gonna say that but just to smooth the nails out and then I will be going in later with like a, a sort of cone shape bit and that's just to help me file down the cuticle areas again not the best at doing my cuticle areas but I am learning and I definitely think I am getting better because with this nail set I definitely think my cuticles look a lot better than they did before Now that I have shaped and sanded these nails to perfection, I'm going to go ahead and take some water and I'm going to take these butterfly nail decals just to really add some of that feminine, girly spring, even though we're in summer, but you know, that, that whole look, <laughs> pretty much. And all I'm doing is just putting the butterflies in the water for a bit and then taking them out of the water and then separating the butterflies from the uh, piece of paper that they're on and then just applying that on my nails and I'm being careful to make sure that I, I like lay them down where I want them to while they're still wet because then they're kind of like they're kind of sticky but like they really like sort of grip down when they're wet and when they're dry they really don't like to move anywhere so I make sure that I'm really careful with this part with placing them down where I want to when they're really wet and then just kind of waiting a bit I know I don't show it here but like I'll wait a little bit and blow on it a little bit just to make sure that it's fully dry before moving on to another nail because I, di I didn't want any of the decals to shift. other nail tutorials because I'm starting to really get into my nails but I hope 